morning, YouTube. My name is Annie. It's been a while since I posted anything on YouTube. Um, but per the request of uh, many people who have written me over the last uh, few months, they asked me some more specific questions uh, regarding homosexuality in the Bible and specifically about my um, testimony. Uh, one of the biggest complaints that I got was just that not complaints, but questions rather, um, which mainly came from, I think, just non-believers in general, was where exactly it said in the Bible that it was not okay to be gay. Um, so, I mean, it's it's easy enough to just do a quick Google study or search or um, open up your Bible and look at the concordance, but because this seems to be a question that people have repeatedly, um, I just thought I'd go ahead and lay it out there for you. Um, 1 Corinthians 6, verse 9 through 10, uh, it says, Do you not know that the wicked will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor pale, male prostitutes, nor homosexual offenders, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor slanderers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. That's 1 Corinthians 6, 9 through 10. Um, another one is Leviticus 18.22 and 20.13. Leviticus 18.22 says, Do not lie with a man as one lies with a woman. It is detestable. 20.13, Levit Leviticus 20.13 says, If a man lies with a woman as one lies, if a man lies with a man as one lies with a woman, both of them have done what is detestable. They must be put to death. Their blood will be on their own heads. And back to the New Testament, Romans 1, 26 and 27. It says, Because of this, God gave them over to shameful lusts. Even their women exchanged natural relations for unnatural ones. In the same way, the men also abandoned natural relations with women and were inflamed with lust for one another. Men committed indecent acts with other men and received in themselves the due penalty for the for their perversion. Um, also, I know there are, there are a number of you out there that um, have some real hang-ups on the difference between um, Old Testament and New Testament. But uh, Malachi 3, 6, the Lord says, I am God and I do not change. Uh, just because it's Old Testament and Levit Levitical law um, does not make God's point any less um, truthful or prominent even in today's society. God's word is his word and um, he means what he says. So anyway, that's just uh, a couple of the scriptures. Of course, they can all be taken out of context. Um, they can all be put into different contexts. Um, but when studied out properly, um, and cross-referenced and allowing scripture to interpret scriptures every one of those scriptures align with the communicable traits and characteristics of God and Jesus Christ who is God they're inseparable just because Jesus didn't come right out and say anything ab about homosexuality in the New Testament um He's very clear throughout the entire New Testament that he is from God. They are inseparable. No one can see the Father um, except by seeing them through Jesus. Um, and they go hand in hand. Nothing that Jesus said, did, or believed ever contradicted anything that the God revealed in the Old Testament um, believed and set forth for his created children, us. And I am going to post another video here soon about some more specifics um, on whether or not I'm still gay, um, whether I still struggle with homosexuality, um, and what some of the things were that happened um, to to allow that healing to take place. 
So I'll be back with more. Thank you.